Greetings, friends. We find our reading from the book of Jeremiah and read from verse 7 to 10. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. And this is the word of God for the people of God. This passage, friends, is preceded by many which decry Israel's reliance on foreign gods and on the desires of their hearts. It decries Israel forsaking God and disobeying his commandments. Hence, we find in Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23, where the Lord says, I will be your God and you will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you, that it may go well with you. But they did not listen or pay attention. Instead, they followed the stubborn inclinations of their evil hearts. They went backwards and not forwards. And so, friends, we live in challenging times. Though they may be different to Jeremiah's, the lessons that we have to learn are similar. We are similarly encouraged, therefore, to have a short trust and confidence in God. With festive vibe behind us, January has taught us that though we celebrated the new year, we are faced with the same old challenges, if not more. As an example, we saw Parliament and several other buildings going up in smoke. Criminality still goes up unabated in our communities. Cost of living is forever increasing. If recent interest rate hikes, fuel and food inflation are to go by. All of these have a tendency to stretch the household budget beyond limits with negative impact on general well-being not forgetting that the fifth wave of coronavirus is lacking on the horizon. The outcomes of the state capture report with going calls for justice to prevail are also telling on the general state of our society, which is not different to Jeremiah's you know, society and the type of issues that he narrated in his book. And so, with so much to worry about, the temptation for people to rely on their own plans and less in God's unmerited favor is likely to grow. And so, this passage encourages us not to lose heart, not to lose our faith, defined as the confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see in Hebrews 11. In it, there are promises of rewards for those with approved conduct and deeds. And these are consistent with the many blessings that are promised in Luke 6 verses 17 to 23 for those whose attitudes are approved and those who can look forward to rejoice in the day and leap for joy because great is their reward in heaven. In the covenant services that we attended, we 
were encouraged to renew our covenant with God and to completely place our lives and our destiny in his hands and surrender to his will. May we therefore find courage in these words of scripture, as Timothy would say, that all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So, folks, may we therefore chin up, walk tall with full confidence in God's love, in God's providence, as we go about doing good and doing no harm. Amen. Be blessed.